Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now June 4th of 2021 and ever since the very end of The Mandalorian Season 2's finale, it's pretty safe to say that a lot of fans have been very curious and skeptical at the same exact time about exactly what's happening with John and Dave and whether or not they're going to be able to pull things off when it comes to the overall new Star Wars universe with themselves, George Lucas, and others coming on board. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Also, make sure to check me out at Mike Zero One on Twitter. So, this November to December is going to be a big time frame for Star Wars. This is going to be the moment in Star Wars history in which Lucasfilm is going to announce tons of new Star Wars TV shows and movies, as well as another batch of TV shows and movies announcements. Coming, of course, next May over at Star Wars Celebration of 2022. Now, given that Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni, they are actively working on shows like, of course, The Mandalorian, Ahsoka, and others out there. They really are putting all of their time and energy into Star Wars. They're basically dedicating their lives to fixing Star Wars as a whole. In fact, <laughs> it's one of the main reasons as to why Jon Favreau even came on board of Star Wars was to fix the damage done by The Last Jedi and director Ryan Johnson. It's one of the main reasons as to why we got Luke Skywalker back in the mix for Mandalorian Season 2's finale. I want to focus on Brie Larson. There's been a lot of things happening behind the scenes over at Lucasfilm involving Brie Larson and what's happening with, of course, other TV shows that have been connected to the Acolyte TV series. Now, we discussed this lightly a couple of weeks ago, and it is now fully progressing and developing very well. Of course, John and Dave, they recently got promotions, they're making a lot of big changes over at Lucasfilm for the better, and this only shows us a light at the end of the tunnel here and something to look forward to. So without further ado, what's really exciting is that given that both John Favreau and Dave Filoni are actively developing their new Star Wars universe, it's described that they are both invested in also bringing back tons of Star Wars legends into the mix. It's described that just recently creator Jon Favreau made a major adjustment over at Lucasfilm, where this major change has to do with Favreau recently firing actress Brie Larson from a brand new Star Wars TV show that has been in the works by Kathleen Kennedy originally that was supposed to drop on Disney Plus sometime in 2023. It's noted that this was going to be a show featuring Brie Larson's Maeve character from the Acolyte series to get her own TV show, and that Brie was recently fired from the project by Favreau, given that she was being overly demanding with that show. However, Brie is said to still be attached to the Acolyte series as of right now, where initially it was thought that Brie Larson was going to be a part of a show connected to the Mandalorian series, However, this is absolutely not the case, and that the only show that Brie Larson was fired from was the Maeve solo Star Wars TV series that was going to be in lifelike animated form for Disney+, Plus. period, the end. Now, this major decision by Jon Favreau was done just a couple of days ago in order to finalize this major choice by the higher-ups over at Disney as well. Kathleen Kennedy behind the scenes is said to be very angry with Favreau for making this big decision, and that by contract, Brie Larson is set to stay in for the Acolyte series, and that Favreau unfortunately has no control over that. Now, Brie's character Maeve was going to actually have her own TV show focusing on the creation of her from the Wills, who was also going to be a major part of the series, and that Kennedy wanted to create major retcons to the actual Star Wars TV show that would actually erase many parts of George Lucas's philosophy of Star Wars. Now, about this show is that Kathleen Kennedy actually wanted to rewrite the overall legend of the Wills. They are basically deities, if you will. They are godlike beings that created the Star Wars universe overall. I want to go over this big project that was recently canceled and how Brie Larson was fired from the show because she was being overly demanding. Jon Favreau made this big decision to finalize all of this just a couple of days ago. Keep in mind that this is the actual show that she was let go from, and it was not a TV show related to The Mandalorian in any way, shape, or form. This was actually a show connected to the Acolyte TV series, so completely different. So the truth about all of this is that though Brie Larson was fired from this show, 
She's still attached to the Acolyte TV series, unfortunately. As I've said this before many times in the past, that actual TV show, I believe, is going to be a disaster, sadly. It's going to be Batwoman 2.0, as I like to call it, because it's going to be driven by, of course, identity politics and real-world issues and Kathleen Kennedy's agendas being thrown in there. It's just not going to work, sadly. Now, this is, of course, all thanks to Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni getting their promotions over at Lucasfilm for making this major call. And I gotta thank Jon Favreau for making the right choice. We went over the truth of Mara Jade uh, about Brie Larson a couple of days ago of how she's not actually becoming Mara Jade. That's actually Karen Gillan getting the role. But that Brie Larson actually auditioned for the role of Mara Jade and was declined by George and Jon Favreau. This does speak volumes because it tells us that Brie is not really looking all that bright by some of the more experienced creators out there. And it could be one of the main reasons as to why Captain Marvel 2 is called The Marvels. As far as we know so far, you know, it could very well not even have Brie Larson as the main main character in that movie, but I digress. Here's things, of course, that's really gonna excite a lot of fans, is that John and Dave, they're getting more creative power over TV shows that they are not writing and or directing. Let that sink in for a moment. Both John and Dave are getting a lot of creative power over shows that they have no affiliation with. They don't that that not that they're not writing or directing, whatever it may be, producing over at Lucasfilm. That's the great news about their new promotions. However, sadly by contract, the Acolyte TV series, Kathleen Kennedy has full creative control over all of this. That is not going to change at all one bit, sadly. So that is one thing to actually keep your eyes open for, is that this seems to be something that's going to be on track. They're still trying to push the Acolyte series to actually release sometime next year in 2022. I have said this time and time again. I don't believe it's going to make it for the 22 release. It's looking more and more likely to be 2023. And even at that, that all depends on, you know, whether or not it's going to perform well and whether or not the fans are going to really support the marketing of that show. It's going to be quite an interesting ride to see how the Hacklight series is going to perform. So Brie Larson getting fired from that animated series by Jon Favreau, I gotta give him two thumbs up. I gotta really give him a lot of credit for making the right call on all of that to really stabilize in the Star Wars franchise further. So. Like I've said before in the past, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.